know, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this, and he's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Goliath. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. You ready? Okay, you ready? Let's go. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and he hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Now connects with the right. A swing and a miss by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. 
Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice punch by Lee. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Right hand upstairs. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right hand upstairs. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Straight left counter finds the target. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Superman punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Let's get going now. He's got the single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just out of range with that right hand. Big head kick lands. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Oh, man, that's hard to watch. Another leg kick lands flush. And if you're the opponent at this point in time, you got to check something. What are you doing? You got to adjust. You got to be doing something different because to this point, what you're doing is not working. Get close, fight chest to chest, maybe relax on the outside. Don't panic. Don't be jumpy. Try to find comfort in knowing that you've done this. You have the reps. You know how to check it. Just take your time. Be comfortable. Get that leg up. It's only going to take one great check to make him stop throwing those kicks. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Ten seconds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Good job, bro. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You are a cardio machine. Cardio is the key right now. Keep doing what you're doing. Push the pace. Keep going. Keep going. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets ended. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. He throws the right hand there. That's a big strike right there. Single collar tie now. Comes through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. That one landed clean. 
blocks the shot. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him drive his shin into the body with that body. Lee gets hit with a kick. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Caught that kick there. Driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then land with a beautiful punch. Really got his opponent on notice here. How good is that right hand? Liver kick. Got clipped for the right hand. What a punch. Oh, big head kick there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big head kick land. Land that overhand now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Try to establish that jab. And they separate. Big body kick lands. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. And there comes the separation now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Pretty good right hand. Miss with that jab attempt there. Oh, man. I thought you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on them. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Not there. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Nice punch there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment.
All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the floor. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not do everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. And every now and again, he would set down the strike that was really damaging his opponent. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Kick to the body by Lee. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Big leg kick land. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Visibly limping here. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice straight punch. Right punches there. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Good jab. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, single collar tie here. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Nice. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. earlier the aggression with his striking DC he is officially rough a big massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates way to hide that leg kick just missed 
missed with the straight left hand. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Real nice body kick land. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Beautiful strike. It's very tricky when he throws that body. You can't take many of those. You better check. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Good punch land. Just misses with a left hook there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Back to the jab now, no good. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Oh, that's a nice strike. Three minutes. Connects with a right. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Lee. Body kick land right under the elbow. Ooh, huge body shot. Ooh, big shot land. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Just missed with that right hand. Nice kick. Huge block there. Nice loop and punch. can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. There's no tell on that leg kick. Right hand on point. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Nice kick. Final minute. What a body kick. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Lee. And they separate. 
Leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Right under the elbow by the flank. And they separate. Ten seconds to go. Nice punch lands over the top. There's that patented head kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Nice punch there by Lee. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Real quick leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Kick, kick, land. Back and forth we go. Lee gets caught with that punch. Just missed with the left there. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Head kick land. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Ooh, Superman punch lands. Ooh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lee. Lance with a right hand. Right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Great punch landing with so much power. Cable inches right there. So much for it. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! <laughs> A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.
So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion, and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished,